Ja, ne olyan ledob. Akkor tedd le a földre, hogy ez a szar. Hát nem nekem egy jó kép. Az vagy egy gyerek van. Are we good? Yes, we are. Showtime. All right, people. Welcome back to the channel. Now, before I jump into today's vlog, I want to make a bit of a disclaimer. Um, I don't know when this video is actually going to go out on YouTube, but the day of recording is the 19th of October, which means that we have about 10 days until Halloween. Now, here in Hungary, we don't celebrate Halloween because it is a tradition that has roots mainly in American culture, but we decided to do a Halloween-themed photo shoot with a couple of my photography friends, because why the hell not? Now, the idea that we have is definitely, definitely not an original idea. Just putting this out there so that there's absolutely no confusion. We know that a lot of other YouTubers and photographers on Instagram have already done this. So we are actually years late to this party, but we don't care. We're going to pull through and we're going to make this happen. Uh, we're going to try to put our own little spin on it and we're going to try to make it a little bit more unique, even though that's practically impossible at this point. So the idea is we're going to get a pumpkin. Well, we already have the pumpkin. In fact, Andres and his father were nice enough to help us carve it. And uh, last night they turned it from a very average looking pumpkin into a very, very scary pumpkin. Uh, so now we have that. And then we're going to get some flares. Again, we already have the flares. And we're just going to light them up, put them inside the pumpkin. And we're going to take photos of that. Now, it might just be me being overly pessimistic, but when it comes to flares and flare photography, something is always bound to go wrong. So, I'm sort of already expecting something to go wrong, and uh, we'll see if that actually turns out to be true. So, Chubby is going to be here very, very soon to pick me up, and we're going to go to some kind of forest, or, I don't know, and we're going to do this. So, let's go. So, the last time we did flare photography, I made the stupid mistake of going in white sneakers. And the blue flares left these very annoying blue spots on my sneakers. Uh, I don't know if you can see that through the camera, but uh, yeah. So I can't seem to get off that blue stain from these shoes. So today, we're not gonna make that mistake. We're gonna go for the black ones. So we've been walking for like 10 minutes and we arrived to the middle of this forest. Looks like this. The guys are over there setting up the pumpkin and everything else for the shot. The pumpkin, by the way, looks great. So I'm really looking forward to this shot. Um, so we're just, gonna, we're just gonna get ready and then we're gonna take some photos first of the pumpkin itself. And then uh, we decided that I'm going to be the model for today's photo shoot. So I'm going to take the pumpkin into my own hands. I'm going to walk with it and uh, the guys will take some photos of me. So that's what we're going to do. Let's go. That's <laughs> 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 okay, so <coughs> one piece of advice if you ever do flare photography, do not inhale the actual smoke because <laughs> you're gonna be suffocating like I am at the moment. <coughs> so, what you just saw there was me literally fighting for my life because I inhaled so much of the smoke. Uh, it was bad. It was really, really bad. Hi, 
Na, így, ne? így ne, így ne. So, <laughs> yeah, we f***ed up yet another flare because the black ones unfortunately keep burning around the edge even when you've already lit it. So, yeah, we wasted another flare. Okay, so I don't know if you're keeping count, but we screwed up another flare. This time out of our own fault, because there was a guy who literally walked into the frame. He saw that we were taking the photos. He didn't care at all. He just kept walking. So, uh, yeah, maybe we can Photoshop him out. Maybe not. I don't know. Uh, when we get home, we'll see. But for now, we only have a couple of flares left. And we're not sure if we got the right photo just yet. So... All right, third or fourth, fifth, I don't even know, uh, fifth attempt. Chubby is doing everything he can to not screw it up like I did. Uh, this is what's happening. I just want to remind everyone that I did tell you that whenever you do flare photography or you do anything with flares, something is bound to go wrong and if there's anything that this day has proven is that this is super true super super true so if you do anything with flare photography you need to get at least i would say twice as many flares as you originally think you would end up needing so we thought we were going to need about three or four flares but we've already wasted three or four flares without much result so yeah this is not easy um so just get more it's not that expensive if you do anything with flares, get a lot of them. <laughs> oh man, come on! <laughs> <laughs> Cheesiest transition of 2020? I think so. Oh lord. Oh. Alright, here is the situation. Today is Tuesday and we actually recorded the video yesterday on Monday. Um, but by the time we got home last night, I was already way too tired to deal with the photos. So I only got around to doing them this morning. Also, as you can see, a lot of things didn't go according to plan. So I guess if there's like a takeaway to this video, it's that you should always be prepared, not only for plan B, but also for plan C and D, because uh, that's life. That's life, folks. So even though we struggled very hard in the beginning, we actually got some pretty sick shots by the end. So the only thing that there's left to do is to actually show you my top three photos from yesterday. So on the number one spot, we got this photo. And the reason why I like this so much is because I managed to hold up the pumpkin in a way that it covers my entire hand. So it almost looks like uh, the pumpkin is my hat. And uh, I did a little bit of Photoshop magic around the eyes, the nose and the mouth. Uh, to make it a bit scarier and to give the photo and the pumpkin a bit more life. So this is my favorite from the entire batch that we shot yesterday. On the number two spot, we got this horizontal photo, which looks kind of similar to the previous one. I guess the only difference is that I made this a bit darker and a bit moodier so that there's more emphasis falling on the pumpkin. Definitely love this one as well. And on a number three spot, I actually got two photos. I can't really decide which one I prefer. I think I'm gonna go for this one though, because the smoke is coming out very evenly on both sides of the mouth, as well as the eyes. So this one is probably the best that we have of just the pumpkin, as far as the smoke is concerned. 
And with that, we actually arrived to the end of today's vlog. So thanks for watching as always. Like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe if you aren't already, and definitely do give a follow to both Chubby and Andrish. Uh, we came up with this project together. Uh, they are both amazing, talented photographers. So check them out on Instagram, on YouTube, whatever, just give them some love. Uh, also, Chubby has a YouTube channel, so he's going to make a video about the way he interpreted yesterday's event. So I'm gonna link that down in the description and that's gonna be it for today so see you in the next one and today we're gonna do a special kind of goodbye I'm gonna put the mask on you <laughs>